watching WXTX Fox 54 Sports with Alexandra Vitale. Today, the Peach Belt and Sunshine State Conferences kicked off their second annual softball challenge right here in Columbus. This event brings teams from each conference to the South Commons for two days of games. Six college teams are competing in this year's tournament. All right, let's get right to it. This morning, Lynn University versus CSU. Top third scoreless until Suzanne Carney drills this one, and it's out of here to make it one nothing Cougars. And that's not all that happened today. Right here a little later, Nina Rubio with the RBI single. Hits it up the middle, bringing her teammate Chan Chandler Padgett in from third to make it 2-0 CSU. The Lady Cougars went on to win their season opener 5-2 over Lynn. Time to talk a little basketball today at the Lumpkin Center. The CSU Lady Cougars hosting the Georgia College Bobcats. We'll pick things up in the second half, 42-27 Cougars. CSU building on their already impressive lead. Shatiel Bradford, she had 18 points on the day. Georgia College trying to make something happen. Carrie Washington with the rebound. Kim Blake feeds it down the court to Tay Smith, who does the rest right here with a layup. She was the leading scorer today with 22 points to help power her team to their fourth straight win, a dominating 79-55 win, and head coach Jonathan Norton couldn't be more proud. I thought we came out and shot the ball really well. Anytime you shoot the ball 65% and a half, uh, your chances of win are pretty good. And then defensively, I thought our zone was effective and we were able to rebound the ball, which we've been preaching all week because rebounding was the key. I tell them great performance today, protecting home court. Now we got to have three great days of practice. We'll be off tomorrow, three great days of practice, getting ready for a tough tour to Southwestern team on Thursday night. The ladies, the CSU men, took on Georgia College. We're in the first half. It's BJ Battles who starts things off nice with that three-pointer. CSU dominant on defense. Shane Hayward blocks Terrell Harris. D'Angelo Kirkland takes it to the rim. He had 15 points on the day. And right here, check out former Northside Patriot freshman RJ Sessions from the top of the arc. The leading scorer on the game with 26 points. CSU men take care of Georgia College 77-61. And also today, Auburn hosting Georgia. Chris Denson, the former Shaw Raider, another dominating performance on the court today, scoring 18 points to help his Tigers to a 74 to 67 victory over the Bulldogs. The Tigers now 10 and 9, 2 and 6 in SEC play, went 11 of 13 from the foul line over the final five minutes to secure their second straight SEC win after dropping a dropping 16 in a row. Auburn had five players score in double figures. KT Harrell scored 13 of his 16 points in the first half and made three three-pointers. The Tigers turned their attention to South Carolina on Wednesday. Well, tomorrow, Super Bowl 48 kicks off. Peyton Manning and the Broncos meet Russell Wilson and the Seahawks at MetLife Stadium. A record-setting offense versus a relentless defense. Coaches who actually smile are quotable and think football should be fun. A wintry outdoor setting and the two best teams in the NFL. Tomorrow's Super Bowl has just about everything a fan, a player, a coach, and certainly a league could ask for. See the game right here on WXTX Fox 54 Sports kickoff is 630. That's a look at sports. Rosalind. Yeah, well, we'll be watching. Thank you, Alex.